Everybody, we have a whole lot of ground to cover today. We're so glad you're with us. I'm Jenna Lee. We do indeed. I'm John Scott. Here in the Fox Newsroom happening now, NATO takes charge of air operations in Libya as the fighting there intensifies. To Japan, where right now that danger zone is expanding. Dangerous levels of radiation. We're moving to another area of the world now. The Obama administration just approved covert operations in Libya. Big news item. Right. Is that, is that, a, was that is, the right answer? Maybe this is why. <laughs> that disturbing incident at Reagan National. World's largest retail chain says this. We listen. Absolutely. I mean, what exactly is he talking about? So, Jenna, we know we've been following gas prices, right, which nationwide are averaging something like 360 a gallon. We know we well, people have already been very critical of the Fed, and they're really going to ramp up that criticism because these prices are going to hit us, hit our pocket. The higher inflation means your dollar gets you less, so that's not exactly what we want to see right Absolutely. now. Uh, Lori, thank you so My much. Pleasure. Lori Rothman from Fox Business. John? Time to go out. So here's the headline as we hit high noon on the East Coast. The U.S. sends CIA teams into Libya. NATO takes control of the military operations there. Uh, still so much news, though, happening overseas and also here at home. We're glad you're with us. I'm Jenna Lee. Lori, for sure. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. And to you, hope your Friday's off to a great start. I'm John Scott. Nice to see you, John Scott. Hope your Friday's off to a great <laughs> it is. start. How could it not be? I'm Jenna Lee, everybody. We're here in the Fox Newsroom and happening in Mississippi, a fatal bus accident involving some children. Harris has the updates. Harris? Yeah, and we're going to get keep up with the high cost of living, right? Prices are going up. The price of gas and food, uh, both of those items, prices are higher. And because we, the consumer, are drivers of economic growth, where does this leave us and our economy? Earlier, I asked the chief economic advisor for the president, Austin Goolsby, why wages aren't going up when the price of everything else is. Fitz is on the table in the state of Florida. It hasn't passed yet, but it's interesting it's happening in that state, a state where the housing market is also so beat up, and there's so many things happening in the economy there. Uh, we have a great economic panel coming up next hour. We're going to talk about the effects of, of jobs on the retail market, on the housing market, and also on public policy overall. Uh, that's coming up, up in the uh, back hour, half hour of the noon. And he says there are there. So they could the Dakotas. The <laughs> yeah. Dakotas have very low unemployment. That's, that is true. <laughs> yeah. Not that on air because I'll get in trouble for talking about how many times I, I got in check trouble. Out, check out his account. <laughs> Dennis, thank you very much. Thanks very we'll much. We'll be watching. Uh, John? Hi, noon here on the East Coast, and we have this headline for you, a peace offer in Libya as opposition forces dig in for heavy fighting. It seems a little counterintuitive, right? More fighting and also a peace offer. We'll see how it breaks down. We're so glad you're with us, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee. And I'm John Scott. The military... Scary stuff. We've had kind of a weird week as far as flight news, planes right? Planes with bullet holes in them, planes that won't pressurize. Yeah, all kinds of weird stuff going on. So maybe just stay home and watch the news, right? That's what we'll... <laughs> we'll do Good it right idea. now. We'll keep you updated on that strange situation. Hopefully everyone's okay on that American Keeps Airlines. Keeps you out of the snow but as well. It, it certainly does. And speaking of snow, you know, we have this April on Capitol Hill. House lawmakers are firing a shot across the bow of the Senate. Uh, on the surface, it's about preventing a government. One of what, John? I, You know, whatever you like. Okay, th very, very well put. Very Soda, diplomatic. <laughs> you know, orange juice. <laughs> Very good. It's the weekend after all. You it can is. do whatever you want. Yeah. All right. Our next story kind of goes along the lines of what you guys were just talking about. You know, automakers are firing up production. They're making more cars and the economy's improving a little bit. Uh, that means dealers need help selling them, though. Casey Stiegel is. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Scott. Hi, John. Good morning. Good Monday morning to you, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee, and we're here in the Fox Newsroom. But happening now, the story, the big story, really is happening. 70 flights, not 100. We'll be back to Casey you as news warrants. Uh, now for some context on this. Uh, it's not the first time we've seen holes open up in planes during flights. Southwest had a similar problem about two years ago with another 737 when metal fatigue, that's what they're calling it, caused a football-sized hole in the fuselage as as well. Uh, that time, there were all Absolutely chilling to see those pictures, even all these years later. That was really scary stuff. Well, it's... So we have that breaking news coming to you out of D.C. We also have this breaking news on Southwest. As Southwest is canceling at least 70 more flights today as the airline checks for those cracks in that, that fleet of 737s. Uh, big news up in the sky, also down here as well. We're glad you're with us. I'm Jenna Lee. And I'm John Scott. A five-foot hole rips open in the passenger cabin of a Southwest jet at 34,000 feet.